Hey guys, this is Vol. The game that I'm going to be commentating on right now is the replay of the week from ghostofgamers.net. Uh, these guys have recently been putting out a, uh, an ROTW feature, and I'm going to be commentating on it to, to uh, celebrate that and honor that, because I think it's cool that they're uh, putting a feature like that. It's, it, it really sort of helps people to quickly and easily find uh, the best replay of the times if they aren't sort of somebody that goes around and, and, and just watches all of the replays basically. Now this game is Protoss versus Terran on Blue Storm. There's Protoss uh, Pro putting down a pile on there in the middle of his choke. The Protoss player is uh, Ares Master and uh, the Terran player is Yun FOU. So FOU being his clan uh, and Master being from the infamous Ares clan uh, where possibly one of my favorite Starcraft players Ares Separos comes from also. But uh, yeah, here we've got Master putting down a Supply Depot in the choke. He's putting it uh, just slightly above where I would actually normally put a Supply Depot. And the reason why is because he wants to put his barracks uh, just below that with a small gap so that the Zealots can't fit through, but the Marines can and uh, and workers can come and go from his space. So a uh, bit of a, a fancy way to do it, and uh, I don't really think there's anything wrong with that at all. Good that the Terrans have managed to get the refinery down before the probe sneakily steals it. So that's a plus. Uh, and uh, if you guys saw the Protoss base, you would have noticed that he had put down a gateway, but hasn't got the gas yet, so we'll be looking to see what kind of sneaky, cheesy build he does, or or uh, or whatever it does turn out to be. Here comes the SV, so he's going to see what whatever the Protoss uh, player is starting out on. He's not going to be totally sure what's going on here, but uh, this, the SV is, is uh, pretty damaged as well, so he won't be able to last too long if he gets hit by probes. Meanwhile, we've got a probe rest going on in, in Master Space as well. So yeah, this is looking to be shaping up to be a very typical TVP on Bluestorm, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. So, uh, Barracks lifting off, just landing again, because Master obviously didn't really like that placement too well. Getting a, uh, the Protoss player getting a Zealot. And now, single Zealot, and I don't know how effective the Zealot will be, given the fact that this choke point seems to be nicely set up. As long as he lands that barracks, shouldn't have any trouble uh, defending here. And just looking at resources, the Protoss player has saved up 400 minerals, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's going for an expansion under the cover of that Zealot Harass. And yes, he is. So that's the plan there. I guess the Protoss player just wanted to save up rather than getting another gateway or a gas uh, straight away. Uh, Terran player had put, um, taken SCVs off gas temporarily there to save up for his own command center, but it's not going to be as quick as the Protoss. So, if he figures out what go what's going on, maybe he could put in a, a quick sort of uh, timing push to deal with it. Low timing push is a bit tough on this map because unless you're just going out with Marines, and that, that's difficult, but unless you're going out with the Marines, uh, it's hard to get across the map because if you're using vehicles, you've got to go around the sort of loop de loop, well, not loop de loop, but sort of big S shaped curve heading out to the left and then around the right, the big diagonal, and then back to the left again. And uh, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've played this map before, but uh, that's generally how it goes. And uh, poor Zealot, hanging out, can't attack the Terran base right now. We've got uh, another pylon going down next to the Nexus, and something that is core and gas going down. So this is uh, looking to be a fairly strong uh, Protoss build, uh, or at least it will be. Uh, as long as the Terran player doesn't really do anything very responsive to it. And looks like we've got a starport going down, so this is going to be a bit of a risky move from the Terran player. Uh, he's, he's building vultures off one factory and upgrading the mines and probably speed later on and sending out one, Zel uh, one uh, uh, what do you call those things, vulture bikes to deal with that, that zealot. But he's going to have a dropship before long. And uh, this is the kind of build that really takes a lot of skill to pull off properly and a little bit of luck as well, to be honest. Because if you don't do much damage with your drop, uh, first drop with four vultures, and you can do plenty of damage, but if you don't, then you're really kind of set back. Especially because the Protoss player has gone for fast expansion here. He's going to be really high behind economically if he doesn't do some serious uh, harassment and put some pressure on with this build. And uh, our single vulture here, trying to get some scouting off. He knows at this point, Master, the Terran player, knows that the Protoss player has got that earlier expansion. So he's probably going to be sweating and worrying about whether he's going to be able to pull this, this build off because he knows that uh, if he if he fails, then things are going to get tough. 
robotics facility going down now, so that's not a not a silly choice at all. Uh, given the wide number of things the Terran player can do in response to your sneakily fast expansion. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll even see Reavers, otherwise it'll just be fast observers or something like that. But uh, robotics, uh, I mean, now is now is a better time than, than any, really, to, to get one. I mean, he could go for a third base, but given the fact that he'd already hit up the, the second base and is trying to defend his, his situation here rather than be more aggressive... Uh, that's why he's not done that. But uh, Vulture's getting in, in position because we've got the dropship out, so we'll be looking to see how this goes. Uh, Vulture's getting ready to be picked up here. Here's all four Vultures, all shuttled up and ready to go. We've got we've got the upgrades. We've got a second uh, command center going down there for the Terrans, and looks like we're probably going to get some Vultures dropped off at the expansion. No, we're not. Wow, I'm really surprised they didn't drop the, the Vultures off given that there was no, nothing defending there, but... He's going to land them all in the Protoss main, putting down some mines. He's, he's got to avoid losing these vultures. Putting down the mines next to the, the, um, the Dragoons. The Dragoons trying to get, taking some hits. Oh my god, mines going off. And they've really got... Oh my god, there's a, there's a Dragoon. The, uh, the, the dropship's getting out, but uh, we've got a couple of uh, vultures in there picking off probes. So uh, some damage is being done here. I can't say this is the most damage. That I've, oh, mine going off. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Dragoons are getting trashed here, and another mine! Uh, no, oh, I'm really glad that mine didn't go off all over those probes, because that would have been disastrous, but we have got a, a Vulture in here, uh, getting surrounded by the probes now, and uh, about to get destroyed, but he managed to salvage that one, he really should have kept it there and, and kept shooting, but now he's just going to waste it uh, against the Dragoon. Unfortunately, but he sees the robotic support base and the Reavers being built there, so the Terran player will at least know that he's be facing off against Reavers. So all in all, that that dropship harass was not bad. It wasn't uh, wasn't totally decisive and and uh, you know crippling, but wow, wraiths with cloaking being upgraded. What an awesome counter to to Reavers. This is cool. You do not see cloaked wraiths against. Protoss every day, let me tell you that, and especially not against, uh, not in the early game, for sure. In fact, this is probably the first time uh, within the first sort of 10-15 minutes of a, a TVP that I've ever actually seen Cloaked Wraiths being used in a game of StarCraft, so there you go. Dropships uh, landing even more drones at the back of this uh, Protoss natural expansion, getting some more probe kills, so really nice stuff here by the Vulture. And uh, we've got the, the Reaver and Zealot heading up <laughs> to intercept them. Terran players built two wraiths, so that's fantastic. And cloaking's been upgraded, so he's going to be able to put those wraiths to use later on. And it's not going to really matter if there, if there are any Dragoons nearby, because they'll be invisible. And here come the, the wraiths. So, looks like uh, looks like Yun's going to be able to drop off the, the Reaver, getting a kill, but he's lost the shuttle already. So, ouch, this is nasty. The uh, wraiths are going to be able to knock this uh, Reaver out. No problem at all. And that was a very, very good defensive uh, choice there by Master, if I do say so myself. Oof. Okay, well, uh, let's see what the mid-game has to offer us. We're, we're heading into uh, that now. And, oh, oh, this is cool. We've got Wraiths heading into Yuan's base to actually get some sniping probe kills. He, he turns cloaking on, and uh, Yuan's going to have to wait for Observes to show up. There's the first one, and at least he got a couple of kills worth out of, out of, out of that upgrade. Uh, and he's probably going to get a couple more if he, if he manages to. Here, here, the, here the Wraiths now getting a, a shot off. Are they going to kill a probe? Yes, they are, so that's a, a probe kill. Maybe you can get one more. Maybe not, though, because all the dra Dragoons have arrived, and we've got an Observer there as well. But, uh, four tanks on the move now with an SEV in support. I uh, can't see any more SEVs being produced there. Maybe he's got a supply cap, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not sure why uh, he's not building SEVs. He doesn't seem to be planning a, a serious timing push. He's just moving out with his tanks. He should really be building more SCVs, but here comes Master anyway, and oh god, this this is the the the, the weak point of, of Protoss in this map against Terrans. It's just the tanks sieging up there, and he's luckily he's got a Wraith still alive to actually get the spotting off. Oh, and this is brutal. Four tanks just totally face planting those those probes. Uh, and uh, Yun doesn't quite have enough units in position to actually head around and assault th those tanks. He's going to have to wait for Zealous, because that's going to take ages, and he's going to lose his Nexus in the meantime. He's built a, a third base, which is now effectively a second base, <laughs> uh, as as things would have it, over at the Mineral only. 
and uh, it looks like Master's actually pushing out with his tanks, and he's going to assault the Protoss head on. He's got enough tanks to do it, though. He's got seven tanks, and Yuna's only just following up with uh, with Dragoons now. I'm not too sure why he isn't uh, sieging up, but I guess the reason why is because the probe's coming off the line and uh, going to surround him in melee, so the tank's pulling back. And uh, Probe's making a desperate defense here. This is actually a pretty good play here by Yun. Uh, if he didn't do this, he'd have a lot of, a lot more dead uh, Dragoons, that's for sure. But uh, Master forced to pull back, and yikes. Uh, this is some interesting play, guys. I can see why uh, this is turning out to be the game of the week. That's for sure. Ah, and rebuilding his, his Nexus, as he ought to, at the natural expansion. We've got, uh, looks like Citadel of Adun researching Zealot Leg Speed, which he needs, facing so many tanks. If uh, Master continues to produce tanks, then uh, 